qualifying for round two of the FIA World Endurance Championship at Spa-Francorchamps. One of the greatest tracks on the planet to challenge whether you're racing or qualifying, no matter what your machinery. With four classes split into two qualifying fields, always difficult to predict a fastest lap. Would it be Aston or Ferrari? Would it be Porsche in the GTE AM class? In the end, top three showed a mix of competition but in the last seconds of qualifying pedro lamy claiming his 15th gt pole putting the aston number 98 on the am class top step ford and ferrari battling with each other for dominance in the gte pro class and both of the four gts starting at the sharp end of the pro grid but in the end, one car seemed to stand head and shoulders above the other. Number 71 Ferrari outpaced not just the Fords, but their own teammates. James Collado and Sam Bird doing a superb job for pole. Turn seven, turn 17. Into the LMP session. LMP1s and LMP2s. LMP2s significantly quicker this season after an upgrade in performance courtesy of their Gibson engines, but four minutes into the session, it was stopped after an accident for Vitaly Petrov in one of the two Manor LMP2 cars. And that left everybody with one part used set of tyres and five minutes less to try and put their qualifying act together. In the LMP2 class, it was a good run from the G-Drive and Alpine cars as they squabble for dominance at the top. And in the end, repeating their success of Silverstone, G-Drive came out with the LMP2 pole. Things were even more jumbled up. The number nine low-drag Toyota was fastest of all in the first runs in LMP1, but couldn't find the clean run it needed in the second run. The number seven and eight Toyotas not only had to deal with the older tyres, courtesy of the red flag, but also being held up. And in the end, number one Porsche team claims pole position.